What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you the ins and outs of using Zapier with YouTube. And you can use Zapier with YouTube by connecting with another app of your choice, but I'm just going to be showing you all of the triggers and all of the actions and giving you a little bit of insight into how I use those triggers and those actions. My name is Ben Green, I'm the owner of Optimize IS, and we do a ton of workflow automation for companies probably just like yourself or for individuals that just want to automate some of their repetitive tasks and they don't want to be transferring data in some of these ways like that Zapier helps them with. So without further ado, we will get into the tutorial right now. So if you haven't used Zapier before, go check out a video in my channel. It's like getting started on Zapier and it'll show you how to create a Zap. But for this one, we're just going to assume you have some of that base knowledge and we're gonna show you how to connect YouTube with a trigger and an action. And we'll show you how to connect it with like a few different apps like LinkedIn, Twitter, to share it automatically so you don't have to do any of the sharing, as well as uploading because I think that's the only action that you can do inside of YouTube right now with Zapier. So if we just wanna see in here, we'll just connect Google Drive. So we can connect Google Drive and YouTube. So now we can come in and once you type those in, you can see all of the triggers and all of the actions for both YouTube and Google Drive. So we'll just go ahead and, and I'll walk you through some, some of what these triggers are. So new video by search. So you could have that by a search in your YouTube, have it pull in that data from YouTube and export it. Um, that would be, that could tend to be a lot of searches. You could also do new video in channel. I would like to do this like in some of my channels, like having when a new video gets uploaded, then have that tweet or have it post on LinkedIn or have it post on Facebook, new video or new video and playlist. So these are the four triggers. So when any of these happen, you can connect YouTube with thousands of apps. You could connect it with like a database, like Airtable. You could connect it with like social media, like LinkedIn, Facebook pages, or really however many apps you want to connect it with, you can do that. Then the actions, you can see there's only one action for YouTube. And that's really the only one you need is upload a video. So we'll go through some of those and the, that's gonna be the first one that we're gonna try is connecting Google Drive to YouTube so that when I throw a video in Google Drive, it uploads to YouTube. And you could also have an integration here with like say Vimeo and you could say once it uploads to Google Drive, I'm gonna have it upload to YouTube and Vimeo because I want it to be in both places for data redundancy. Some people, so we'll have a new file Actually, we're gonna do we're gonna do new file and folder. I've already created a test folder, and that'll just be where stuff gets uploaded. So we'll do upload video as the only action, and then we'll try the reverse of this in a little bit. But we'll click use zap, and this is the pretty pretty easy part. So you should already have your accounts connected if you go find the API or just like log into the accounts, like log into your G, and then you can turn on the zap. So that's pretty simple. It'll pull in like the, if you come down here and go to advanced mode, you can edit some of the settings and like customize what information it pulls in. But like if you customize the video upload, then you can change like the title so it's not the title of the file in your Google Drive. And you can come in here and like adjust the privacy status and stuff like that. But this is super useful so that you don't have to be going and uploading it in multiple places, but I will also show you some other use cases for YouTube and Zapier. So what if we want the trigger to be in YouTube? So if we want the trigger to be in YouTube, then what we can do is we can have the event be a new video, a new video and channel, really just a new video somewhere. So I'll do a new video and channel and I'll sort of show you some of the options that you guys have. So connect it to my YouTube account. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and go, go pull the channel ID from my channel and I'll be right back. So if you go to your YouTube URL, you can go and find, there's a description right under this, so find your channel. Click continue, test it. We'll just use that. All right, so now, there's a couple things you can do. So the apps that I'm gonna connect are like LinkedIn, Facebook pages, and Twitter. 
because I want every time a video I upload a video, I want it to automatically post to LinkedIn, Facebook pages, and Twitter. There's not really a good one for Instagram because that's like a picture, but you could also automatically run ads if a if something is posted or like when it's posted. And there's a lot more. You can really connect it with any. You could have it automatically send an email to your email list. There's a lot of stuff like that that can automatically happen. But I'll just go ahead and show you one. So we'll do my LinkedIn. So for this, I wanted to share a company update. So I want it on the Optimize IS LinkedIn page. And we'll go there. That's my account company page. Optimize IS. So that one's required. And then this is where you really get creative with your content. And this will be the same every time. So maybe I want it to be like, go check out my new video. And then put quotes around it just so there's quotes around the title. And then click enter, enter. And then throw the URL in there. And then also put the URL in here. And you can do stuff like this. So you could have your zap automatically post to LinkedIn, have it automatically post to Twitter. If you're wondering if you can have your video downloaded and maybe once you upload a video to your channel, have it download and send it to like back to your Google Drive or elsewhere, that currently is not an option if the new video in your, cha in your channel and your YouTube is your trigger. If it was your option for the upload and you had the like, file of the video coming from somewhere else you could do that but with youtube as the trigger there's not an option for that but this can be really useful for sharing automatically that way you don't have to worry about posting and you can still be omni-channel but have some of it done in the back end and you really don't have to do anything all right so i hope this video is helpful and i hope you now know how to use zapier and youtube together and very effectively. So if you have any questions with workflow automation, you can go down in the link in the description and click optimize IS, like request a consultation, www.optimizeis.com. And you can get on a call with me or someone on my team. If you have questions for how to do stuff on Zapier, throw them in the comments of this video and we'll try to help you out. But I hope this was helpful and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.